My name is Andrew Nadler. I'm an agricultural meteorologist and also operate Peak Hydromet Solutions, which is an environmental consulting agency, and I focus mainly on agricultural applications. So the Salinity Monitoring Program is a monitoring program that spans across the Delta region, and the, the main intentions are to assess the quality of water throughout the, the canal system. Now the canals in Delta, they're used for both irrigation and drainage, but when they're in the irrigation mode, it's really important that the water be of quality that's gonna be safe to apply to the crops. If the salinity content is too high uh, and it goes onto the crops, it could damage or even kill the crop, um, costing, well, costing a lot of money for the producers. So in this case, if the producers know that they're putting on good water to their crops, then it's just a better, better situation. This area is very unique. Because the Fraser River meets the Pacific Ocean, there's an interface where the salt water hits the fresh water, and depending on the flow of the river, the tide level, um, this, this interface can either creep up the channel or it can be lower. So depending where the intakes are, in some cases, salt water can be coming into the canals and this water can be toxic to the crops. My name is uh, Mike Buxton. I'm the Electrical, Mechanical, Drainage and Irrigation Superintendent for the City of Delta. We provide fresh, uh, low salinity water for the farming community in Delta. Uh, we have one major intake that pumps. It's called Tasker Pump Station. We also have a number of other intakes throughout Ladner all along the, uh, the, the Fraser River. During the early parts of the season, a lot of those intakes are open, bringing fresh water and irrigation water for the farming community into our system. Then as the salt wedge kind of pushes its way up the Fraser over the course of the season, then uh, we sort of shut those off in sequence. Uh, my name's Bruce May and we're on Cran West Farms. Climate change has been mitigated by this project to some degree. It, it's, it's helped us substantially. Things seem to be changing and every year seems to be a little different. It, it's impacted our weather in the spring. It's, it's impacted our, uh, you know, we get the droughts through the year and, and difficult getting water or ha harvesting the cranberries. And there's, there's a lot of water we require to do that for, for this much acreage. So the salinity sensors, they're used primarily by the farmers because the farmers need to know if the water is of quality that's adequate for for applying to their crops. But what we found is some other uses, for instance, the city of Delta who manages the water system, they're looking at the sensors to be able to see basically more points throughout the system. Typically they would de deploy people to do manual samples. In this case, uh, where there's sensors, we have continuous data coming in. It's updated every 15 minutes so they can look online and see exactly what the salinity is doing. So this allows uh, as opposed to just having point samples, it allows time series where you can see spikes or drops at different times just because of different things that are happening within the system. Once you're online, you can look at uh, current salinity status, you can look at historical salinity, you can look at water levels, water temperature, basically exactly what's happening throughout the system at any given time. So depending where you are in the area or where you draw your water from, you can see exactly what the salinity is. Um, at that time. You know, the last couple of years, for example, Tasker has been sort of our last remaining station that was able to bring us in fresh water. So really essential for us and for the farming community. Agriculture is, is a big part of Delta's history and it's important for, you know, uh, food and, and sustainability for the region, right? We did have, uh, uh, you know, some automated systems related to salinity and, and I think the work that Delta Farmers Institute has been doing with adding salinity monitoring to our system has benefited not only the farmers, because the farmers can get a real snapshot of where the salinity is at within our system, but it's also helped us. So uh, my staff and myself, I mean, we use their portal, their online portal almost daily, where you know we can get a quick look at what's going on in our system to help troubleshoot and help us understand you know, where salinity is going in our system. And this program has sort of helped us to fill in the gaps inside so we can better understand how the water moves through our system, where it picks up salinity, and where our current conditions are at. And the more data that we're gathering, the better we can operate our system, uh, the better service we can give to the farming community. So we can identify when to draw water, how much, and, and we can talk to the other growers in the area and work out between us, and, and it works fine. Without that project, it would be much more difficult to understand what's really going on out there. The awareness of what's gone on has, has given us a greater level of comfort of, of what we're doing and what we can predict. We, we now have some predictability of what's going on with water. When we know there's this much flow in the river, when we know the, the tides are this, then we know we, in all probability, can get water under these circumstances. And we didn't have that ability to understand that 
before. So it, it gives us a lot more comfort knowing what's going on. It gives us the ability to figure out when we should be pumping, you know, uh, it, so, many, so, so much information that it's provided for us and it's helped us in, in many ways.